there aren't a great many people around the world who do what I do. It's a very small profession, we're not very numerous. My job is to make type that's readable. Also, I want it to have some sort of quality that, uh, that is mine. The New York Times, I've done a couple of jobs uh, for them. I worked on the text face. I produced, uh, in the end, I think about 19 different versions of this typeface, Cheltenham. Like any industrial designer, what I produce has to, has to work. There is a sort of struggle, I think, within this straitjacket of the conforming to the conventions of the alphabet, and yet not letting yourself get too uh, depressed, if you like, by, by these constraints and learning to express some small part of yourself uh, within that. It's been, uh, wow, 55 years since I left school <laughs> and started work. And during that time, the technologies of uh, type have, uh, have, have changed uh, fairly radically. I generally say, and I believe this, that 80 to 90 percent of type is the same whatever the technology you use to design it. The qualities that you find in type produced in the 15th century are very relevant uh, today. I'm eternally grateful that I sort of survived into the digital age because digital medium is the best way of designing and using type that has ever existed. It would be wonderful to get a MacArthur grant at any age. I think they're saying to me, you know, you've done all this work, well done. Here's an award, now do more, do better. And it's very nice at my age to be told by someone that we expect more from you, you know, and here's the means to help you achieve that. Is, is quite wonderful. I've, I've, I've really been quite moved and grateful by this.